Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Doc. I'm a member of our community support team. And we are here today, today to talk about what is next for um, the mobile skin at Wikia. You have all been invited to this because either you've shown us you're interested in the mobile skin or you're an admin on one of the top 10 wikis for mobile page views. Uh, we have a small group today, but there are others who really wanted to be here, and so we're recording this for them, and we know they'll appreciate it later. Joining us today, we have Brad Niemer and Stanley Tran. These are the product managers who are making decisions about our mobile site and who are working on some exciting things. They're going to talk to you about the upcoming changes as well as what their ideas are for the future and we're going to open it up for discussion. Our goal for this meeting is to prepare you for what's coming and to make sure you understand what our priorities and our issues are that we're focusing on. Uh, but we're also really interested to learn more about what matters most to you. So for the first half, you can submit questions via the question feature, um, and then in the second half, we will unmute you all and you can talk with voice. Uh, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Stan for a brief presentation. Hi, everyone. This is Stanley speaking. Thanks for the intro, Don. First off, we're going to talk about why it's important for us to work on the mobile skin right now. And then we're then going to back these ideas up with numbers, data specific to Wikia's mobile activities. We're going to briefly go over some features we are planning, we are working on currently, features that will be included in the next big release, mobile skin 3.0. And naturally, they'll lead to things we can plan on working on in the future. Um, I think it's really important that we talk about establishing a level of theme optimization for a good mobile experience. And last but not least, we'll go over what you can do to help us and ultimately yourselves um, to create really good mobile experiences. So first off, why are we doing a new mobile skin? And uh, first reason, we want to help you display your hard work in the best possible way regardless of platform. And we are, I, first, I want to say we are so sorry for not giving you the correct tools to make enjoyable mobile experiences. And we really want to make it up to you by making the mobile version of your wikis both easy and attractive for users to explore. Uh, and there are three specific areas we're working on. First off, um, improving performance, which entails refactoring of code and making small technical adjustments that I probably won't go over in this discussion, but you can uh, ask after, after the presentation. Um, and we will we'll really appreciate this when our pages load a lot faster. Uh, we want to make content a lot easier to browse, and this content includes text, images, and even videos. And lastly, we want to eliminate existing bugs on the current skin. And um, a lot of you may know that uh, the current mobile skin was probably untouched since ar around November 2010 when it was launched. So we're hoping to change it for the better. So easier to browse. Uh, right here you see overlapping content and small image thumbnails. So here are two aspects of the current mobile skin that contribute to a poor browsing experience. Uh, browsing on a phone is hard enough as it is. You have a much smaller screen, smaller font size, but when you have overlapping content such as the character pages of Wikipedia and Twilight or everyone else who copies that same info box, it becomes almost unbearable. I remember when I sent a Wikipedia link to my friend after the first time he looked at it. And after the first time he looked at it on his mobile phone, he kept telling me the page was broken. And with that first impression, he also said, this website sucks. I can't read this. So it sounds like a no-brainer, but legibility should be a big priority. And then on the right, you have these tiny little thumbnails. You can barely tell what the images are showing. And often the caption takes up more space than the image, which is actually kind of funny. Like, what's the point of images? And you also have to tap twice to see a larger image. And these are yet more barriers to, for people that find this experience enjoyable. And like I said, we want to make the, this mobile skin less buggy. And it really comes down to making it function as you expect it would. Probably all of you have noticed that when you insert an image slider on a wiki, it simply shows up as an empty bullet point list, if anything at all. And the accumulation of these little bugs end up as an over, ends up in an overall broken experience. So the second reason we're doing a new mobile skin is that mobile is growing quickly, and it's not stopping anytime soon. And I pulled up these three interesting facts. Uh, mobile phones will overtake PCs as the most common web access devices worldwide by 2013. And every time they say things like this, it's ultimately, it ends up happening a lot faster. Um, and then there's been 600% growth in traffic to mobile websites in 2010. And in 2011, probably is higher. 
And then for the average smartphone user, they make up to 24 web website visits per day using their smartphones. And I think I'm way above average. <laughs> so here's a really interesting, the next slide, we have a really interesting infographic that really drives this idea home. Look at the amount of people who don't have PCs but have mobile devices. In the U.S., it's projected that there will be over 50% of people who use only mobile devices by 2015. And it's also interesting to note that most people in emerging markets like Asia and Africa only use mobile devices right now. And I know that most of you want your wikis to be successful and you want to have a lot of readers. Otherwise, you'd be writing in a journal or a diary or something. But imagine the large number of users you're neglecting if you only optimize for a good desktop experience. Wikia Mobile in numbers. So here are numbers that reflect um, usage specific to, to our um, mobile operations. Um, our mobile usage continues to rise every single month. And in a perfect world, we would serve all mobile users. But with limited resources, we've had to choose which type of device browsers to fully support. In the past year, iPod, iPod and iPhone users made up almost 64% of our mobile page views. Not far behind, Android users made up almost 22% and iPad at almost 12%. So combined, these devices make up about 97% of our mobile page views, which is why we've chosen to only fully support uh, iOS and Android. And this is probably what you all are wondering, what are we working on right now? Um, on the current mobile skin, we have to admit that it's tough to tell what wiki you're on at first glance which is part of the reason why we're replacing the old Wikia navigation bar with the wiki themed one. The new navigation bar contains a wordmark linked to the wiki's main page, a background color from, the, from theme designer, a drop-down chevron, and I'll talk about what that does later, and a search icon. And at the right of the image, you, you see what happens when you tap on it. So here the info box spans the full width of the page. The size of the phone screen makes it difficult to read multiple column layouts, so we've decided to have single column layouts only. And this will take care of the problem of overlapping content seen in the earlier slide. In the case of multiple column layouts, the new mobile screen will stack them with the left column on top, the next column below, and so on. And uh, we, we believe that some of the juiciest content on Wikis comes from user interactions, interactions between you guys. And the first step in incorporating these interactions, interactions will be displaying comments at the bottom of the article if comments are enabled on a wiki. And um, if you see in the image, you could tap. There's a comments placeholder, tap on it, uh, and it expands, and the first 25 comments will be loaded, and you can scroll down to load more. And um, like contributions, such as posting and replying to comments, are under strong consideration. Right? And I don't know about you guys, but I can just browse through images all day long. And with your wikis have such great images, why not clone them? Like info boxes, images will span the width of the screen automatically adjusting and automatically adjusting dimensions based on your phone's orientation. And then all you have to do is simply tap on a new image thumbnail to open a larger version of the image in a new window. And this can be easily close and you can easily read the caption. And among other image-related changes, we'll also be rolling out fixes for image sliders. Um, the fix being they'll actually show up on the mobile screen. And then the future. So what you've seen is, uh, so far is the next version of the skin, version 3.0. But we want you to know that we're not stopping. Um, we're releasing this and uh, we're releasing new changes and phases. And this will address issues like what you can do with login. And I know you guys really want to interact with the community and make edits on the phone. So we're curious to see what your, we're, we're curious to see what your ideas are. And uh, in this image, uh, you probably noticed that the random button is gone from the navigation bar. We actually did some uh, data research and found out that even though it took up a lot of real estate on the mobile skin, it actually wasn't getting much action. Um, so in this case, we. We really definitely plan on introducing several elements that will make navigation, navigating the wikis a lot easier. And this includes the local wiki nav. As you can see, it's in the menu tab of the image. Um, and though we can't promise anything, we'd love to hear what types of login only activities you'd like to see. Theme optimization. Uh, it's been really clear to us to achieve these goals that we've laid out. We must optimize many things about the mobile. 
uh, small screen magnifies issues like color clashes or complex customizations that render well only on a desktop web browser. We don't want to alienate the millions of mobile readers and therefore we're optimizing. And uh, this type of approach to the mobile skin is actually very common. Um, these three images right here are from Tumblr and th these are three completely different blogs. Um, but Tumblr has chosen to give them uh, the same mobile skin just for you to, to be friendly to users. And Blogger has done the same thing. And however, uh, we're, we're following that, a similar path, but we're taking an extra step by adding the word mark and the navigation bar to make sure your wiki is recognizable at first glance. Then you can create your great, and then you can let your great content do all the talking. So what can you do? Uh, our wikis are complex, and we don't expect we'll be able to fix all the content layout issues ourselves. So here's where you come in. Wiki main pages have been our biggest challenge, and uh, a coworker of mine made a great analogy the other day that it's kind of like the front door of a house, even if people usually enter your house through the garage or a side entrance, you still want this front page to look good and be a good representation of your community. And for the mobile skin, to display well, main pages have to have simpler layouts and minimal use of hacky features like homegrown sliders. Uh, for example, look at the Dragon Age wiki. The full desktop version looks amazing. And then you look at the same page on the mobile phone. Yep, it's, it's not as pretty. And guess how many page, page views this gets per month? The mobile version of the of Dragon Age. Well, over 1.3 million page views per month. And that's a big number. And that's a big number to see, you know, a page being broken. So um, here are some best practices. Like, try to keep your layout simple. Don't try to get too fancy with hacking features. And um, if you're not sure um, what features would work well or not, you can either try it yourself, um, like show, see it on the mobile skin, or you can ask one of, one of us. Doc is always looking at the blog posts and show forward your message to us. Shrek also does a good job of keeping things simple, uh, as you can see by the slide. And um, one of the things we're, and we're not forcing you to alter the layout of your desktop version of your wiki. We just want to enable you to make an awesome mobile skin. So one of the things we're talking about was maybe to allow you to create a different main page for mobile experiences, or even give you a tag so you can decide what content shows up on mobile or desktop. So we come to the end. So um, we really wanted to ask you some questions. Like first of all, what kinds of actions would you like to do on your phone? Um, two, are you interested in optimizing main pages for mobile? And if so, in what method? And ultimately, what's most important to you in a mobile site? Here's one question we got already. Okay. Can you read it out? Okay, so we got this one question. I'm just wondering whether Campfire and an updated Wikia app skin will be shown at the moment. So um, I just want to let you know that Campfire was a, a little side project that someone was working on during a hackathon at one of our engineers uh, for the Kindle. And um, although it's really awesome to have an app for Kindle. Um, it's, we've had so many different projects going on and limited resources. We'd love to push it out, but it's not in the short list right now. So I'm going to... Should we open it up? Say that we're unmuting people. Okay, we're going to unmute you and begin the discussion. Hi everyone, can you, can you try speaking up? Hello. <coughs> Hello. Hi. So, what are your questions for mobile right now? Um, well, I, I was just wondering if this would be put in the the admin dashboard. You know, the if the customization of the 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 skin, the mobile skin. So, will there be customization of the mobile skin in the admin dashboard? Do you want to see the Oh yes. Um, there will be no customization for the mobile skin in the admin dashboard. Um, right now, um, in the current site, we don't get the word mark, but we're giving you the word mark and the navigation mark. Um, but uh, we're not planning on any um, customizations of the mobile skin anytime soon. Okay. Um, 
But what we are allowing for is the word mark to be the theme designer background color as a header. So those will be customizable in the same place that they currently are. Okay. Um, I was also wondering if you were thinking about creating a Wikia app or something like that. Um, like what type of app? Just for content browsing, or is it sort of like a customized content browser? Because you, like you know, if you the Safari on a, an iPod isn't like the greatest browser in the world, so m maybe something that would be better to browse a wiki, like maybe like have something that would be easier to edit a uh, page with or something. Okay, um, so so basically, it sounds like you're asking for a wiki editor app. Um, like at, right now, we don't have one at the moment, but um, I can suggest that you use WikiEdit, which is an app that allows you to change the wiki text of a uh, of a wiki. Um, working on specific apps, and does it sound? Are you talking about iPad apps or iPhone or Android tablets or, or smartphones? Uh, uh, I mean, I, right now the biggest market is generally like the iPod, iPad sort of mm -hmm. thing. So I mean, that would probably be the. I mean, and like it's iPod, iPod, iPad, Android sort of kind of tied. So I'm curious, uh, what type of editing, uh, what types of actions would you look forward to doing on your phone? Um, I mean, like maybe doing tables or something because writing, you know, just content articles is easy on a phone, but you know, you have to. To write a make a table, we have to go to the curly brace, <laughs> and that's just a pain on a mobile device. That sounds like a good idea. For doing tables. Um, uh, is there any type of um, interaction with other users that you would like to do, or is it just editing with these? Um, the I, I think probably the editing should you know come first. The, I don't, you're introducing some sort of like I mean like the new the talk page thing, right? The, the oh yes the, yes the social I mean, team. Level. I mean that that could like somehow be worked into the mobile app maybe some but <laughs> yeah I, I'm more focused on content uh, like the main space. Okay, um, uh, so. Did, were you the one that asked about what kind of customization? I mean, uh, would, would customization be available on the admin dashboard? Uh, was that? It, was it uh, in the in the chat? Uh, no, I didn't ask any. Um, really in the chat. Was that was that Ryan who asked that first question? Who is speaking right now? Actually, I'm not sure who you are. Uh, C is Mara. Yes, Mara. Hi. Which which wiki are you editing? Uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Oh, Final Fantasy. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much for attending. Yeah. Uh, we, we, they, yeah, we like to stay on top of format and things like that. So I, I, I was happened to be available right now, so I decided to come come along. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Hi, this is Brad. I'm just curious if I could ask you another question. Uh, what type of mobile device or mobile devices do you guys tend to use when you're, um, well, all the time, and then in particular related to either reading wiki stuff or admin? Um, I, I use a, a iPod most of the time. I don't really have anything else. <laughs> or iPod Touch? Yeah, iPod Touch. Okay. So what kinds of actions do you want to be able to take from your iPod Touch? in your wiki? Um, like, would you do full-scale editing? Would you only just fix a typo? Um, I mean, you know, I, I think, like, maybe like, a, maybe like a way to have, like, multiple pages open at one time. Maybe if you want to, you know, like, say if you move a page or something and it, the, all the redirects are broken and things like that, you might want to, like, quickly fix them. Uh, that, that, like, that's pretty much impossible to do on a mobile device at the moment. So if there's any like way, I don't, I don't know, I'm not that much of a tech person, but if there's any way that we could do something, that you could do something like make it so you can edit multiple pages, at, like open multiple tabs on a mobile app or a device or something. So what percentage of the time would you say that you use your mobile device versus a regular PC? And do you ever use them both at the same time? Uh, well, I've never used both at the same time, but uh, 
I usually use my mobile device when I'm, I'm, I'm away or on a vacation or something, so I'd say about maybe like 5-10%, maybe less, I don't know. But, uh, but uh, you know, it's good to, to know about, because, you know, you said it was such a big uh, percentage of the user base, or, uh, the, the viewer base is yeah. on a mobile app, so it's good to make it look nice on a mobile, yeah, thank you. mobile device. And, and there was a previous uh, question about uh, customization of the skin. We're just curious what kind of customization are you interested in? Like, is there anything specifically that you want or you'd like to change about the skin? Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, is there, like, how, how, how much, like, the, the, like, you, can you, can you make it look like the, the, Wikia skin you have now, in a way, like a, a like you could change, like I said, a custom, like you could go to the dashboard and add like a background or something. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I see. So like on the I final page, we have like this crystal thing going on. Is there any way we could like put that on a, on a, on the mobile device? Hmm. Crystal. What do you mean by crystal thing? Like it's like an image. Like a, in a, a, a on, on the side. So. Okay. Like if you, you if you put like an image as like a image background. Yeah. Yeah. So part of the issue is that, that a lot of the customizations that look awesome on desktop are really distracting from the user experience on mobile, and um, and we're not sure what the best solution for that is, um, really when, on, when you're on mobile, what you're looking for is the content, and you need to get to the content without distraction, and any distraction slows down the load, or it gets in your way of being able to view it on a smaller screen, and we also have to assume that some people are going to be on smaller screens than even iPhone and Android. Um, but, but given that, and given that the content is what's most important, um, what would make that better? What would make that a, a more unique experience for people while still while still making the content the highest priority? I, I think that um, right now, you know, there's a, the fixed width on the skin, right? Is there any like I mean, since it's like already a fixed width, is there any way you could like it? It would look good if like the fixed width is already there, and you could like stick it on a mobile device in a way. I don't. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but to make a very small, like, like because I mean, like on uh, the skin mm -hmm. already, it's I mean, it's already I mean, it's you know, it's already at six six hundred pixels, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, if on an iPad, that's about as big as an iPad is. I mean, if you go to browse an iPad, it would look pretty great, I think. But I mean. I don't know how it would work if you got smaller. Yeah, like if you go on the iPad, you know, there is a touch-friendly version of a website on the iPad. Um, uh, like Doc said, the screen is a lot smaller, so if you were to add a background, it would really be difficult for users to use it. To use it, like, um, yeah, it actually goes so much smaller width than, mm -hmm. than the fixed width because um, we want the text to be readable. So you can still switch to the... Um, Actually, confirm this for me. I think you can still switch to the view full site mode. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I could, at the very end, there's going to be a toggle. You can say uh, switch to full site mode, and you can just view the site in full site mode. Uh, and then you can switch back to mobile soon if you feel like it. So I see that um, some others have joined us. Hi, Lord CBT. It's great to have you here. Um, and I, I would love to hear from everybody on, on what is most important for you when you are viewing your own wiki from a phone. What are you looking to do and see as admins and managers and readers? Actually, I'd love it if you could just say hi so we know your sound works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we don't have sound for everybody. That's unfortunate. I better talk a lot then, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you, if, for those who don't have sound, you can type in. Um, Looks like we've got a few coming in from Ryan. Yeah, game guides. Okay. Okay. You can, if you prefer the type, go ahead and type your questions. 
Um, I mean, I have one thought. So one thing that I do a lot on my phone, this is Sarah Lindley, um, is I do a lot of like taking pictures of things and then like uploading them to Facebook. Um, I guess a little bit Twitter, but mostly Facebook. Um, do folks, I mean, I would think wikis, you might be like a lot of things that you see in the street or at a comic book store or something you want to take photos of and have an easy way to upload that. Is that something that Stanley you're looking at or? I mean, that's a great idea. It's one of these different events and you want to document them. But unfortunately, we looked into this. Currently, iOS doesn't allow you to upload photos. Exactly. It's like try to go on Flickr or whatever website on your, on your, on your mobile device and it sort of brings up the upload button. But you could upload them anyway. So um, we'd likely wait for it to be like a, a much bigger market if we invest a time in that. Yeah, another, I think one of the ways that Flickr handles it is they allow you to email in. Yeah, so you can email a photo. Um, that would be interesting, <laughs> actually. How you manage Eight. emailing if it is this way. The iPhone limits you being able to upload an image. Well, you could upload it on an app, but when you're talking about the whole website. Oh, the browser so itself be in the app. Yeah, if there was an app. An app has more access to all your functions. So what's the status of improving our mobile app? <laughs> Which mobile app? For, uh, it looks like we have some... We're asking about the gaming app. But for the gaming app. <laughs> we got the general app. Looks cool. like Ryan Matthews. Let's see. So, Ryan, does, would you like to type in specific things you think are wrong with game guides? Game guides used to allow users to. So, sorry, we're quiet for a minute. We're trying to catch up on the, the text conversation. So, one of the things that um, has been written in is one of the issues that concerns me is the ability to upload. As previously said, Dropbox has an iOS Apple application that allows users to upload files to their account. Do you think this could be done? Technically, yes. Um, we love to uh, make it work through the browser because then it, we can hit the most number of people and serve the most number of users in one fell swoop. Uh, but certainly, we think about ways in which we can make it easier to edit. This is Brad, by the way. Um, we think we can make it easier to edit uh, in a number of ways. One of them is as Stanley showed comments. You know, can we make it simple to edit a comment? We hope to do that in the future. We'd love to be able to really upload. Uh, add a photo <laughs> in the future. Ideally, again, through the same web interface without requiring you to download an app, but uh, potentially if it turns out that there's much more power we can give you through a mobile app, um, it's something we consider. But it, just so you know, it's not high on our list of things to do. We're trying to make the first the broadest impact, but make the best mobile skin we can make for the most number of people, for the most wikis. And then down the road, um, we, we'd love to be able to, but don't know when we can get to focusing on editing. So again, as Stanley mentioned, there's a really interesting iPad app, the Wiki Edit, that lets you edit on the Wiki. It works on, I think it works on Wikipedia. Yep. Um, it definitely works on Wiki. Um, and so definitely, if you have access to an iPad, check that out. Perhaps they have an iPhone version that haven't tried it, uh, to be honest. But, um, we're not focusing on editing as much as um, as much until we get the viewing right. We think there's so much ground to cover, making images better, making text better, making your content um, so much more accessible on mobile on a variety of mobile devices that uh, we've got our heads down trying to make that great. And then once we do that, we'll reconsider ways that we can make get into more editing. But but you are editing is on your list. Yeah, we do it every day. You know? <laughs> yeah. day we live in wikis, and so it's not something that we forget or don't care about. It's just, uh, you know, we go in priority order. We try and serve the most people um, as, as well as we can, and so we're just going down the list. So editing is on the list for sure, and you'll see light editing, as we call it, like um, comments and um, communication tool posting. Now you could imagine maybe a message wall in the future is accessible by a mobile and things like that. We really want to make as many of these tools available on mobile as possible. It's just a matter of time. So please don't hesitate to keep us posted on what you'd like. It's not going into a black hole. We're definitely taking note of it and prioritizing it. 
Um, but it, it won't be in likely this year that we'll have a lot of full budget. So we've got a few more questions, um, probably also related to editing. We've got one say, uh, from Lord TBT saying, sorry if this was covered, I don't think it was actually. Um, there are artic oftentimes articles utilize a myriad of templates. How does what you're developing plan on handling that? Well, um, so most of the article, like content pages, render pretty well um, according with, with our uh, new implementation of the mobile skin. Um, certain pages, like the uh, main page, make it extremely difficult because there are like a million templates out there, and there's so many uh, different like nuances, and it's almost impossible to address each one on an ad hoc basis. I, I think what we're going to do is put out a mobile skin that works for most of the templates, and we'll see, we'll address problems as they arise. Uh, it's not going to be perfect just because of um, the, the, the variations of templates that are out there. And I'm just curious, can you let us know what type of templates you're talking about so we can possibly test them and see if they're working? I suspect he's also asking about the ability to edit templates easily. Oh, the ability to edit templates. I, similar to what, yeah. to what Brad said, it's like we're, it's in the back of our mind, but uh, we're going in priority order. What about like um, slideshows and image galleries and stuff like that? which are nice to, you know, people like looking at photos. Yeah, yeah. so um, currently on the, on, the, on the mobile skin, it's not showing sliders. Uh, like I said in the presentation, it, it was just bulleted lists or, or it wouldn't show up at all. So those are, um, we, those are in the making and uh, they'll be in the next version of the mobile skin, version 3.0. When are you guys hoping to have this version that you're discussing out? Uh, when it's finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we were planning on um, sometime mid-December. We wanted to give you guys a little Christmas present. <laughs> or, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or Festivus. Festivus. Yeah. I'm sorry for not. <laughs> okay, so one of the, one of the things that um, Stan and Brad brought up earlier is that main pages are a real hard thing for us to tackle because on Wikia we let you do whatever you want to the main page, which means it's not really in a <coughs> format and we can, that we can make assumptions about. <clears throat> so one of the things that they've, they've told me they're playing around with is the possibility of setting it up so that you guys can define your mobile content a little differently, like to be able to, to, to identify what should be on mobile and what should be on the, the desktop version. Is that something you guys are interested in being able to maintain? Or does that sound like a hassle that you don't want to deal with? Interested in your thoughts on that. Um, you said before about having an alternate uh, main page. Uh, could you maybe elaborate on that? Would it be like a sub page that you're redirected to or something when you go on it, uh, go on the mobile app? It is more like if you, um, right now, you know, all the edits are presumed to be visible on a desktop computer, but it is possible to see them on a mobile skin, and we just do our best to, um, with a mobile view to make it as good as possible. And as you as you know, like the, the, sometimes the complexity overwhelms our system, and it doesn't look so great. And so, uh, if it were possible for us to set up two different editing environments, and I'm not sure how that would work, whether it's two different windows, one for desktop, one for mobile, or one set of wiki text and then we would have a, a set of tags that would let you highlight the part that you wanted to only be viewable on mobile. So I'm not sure what the mechanism would be, but in, in principle, if you could customize the content you want to show up only for mobiles, would you think this is awesome and we'll totally do that for everything on our site? Or would you think, wow, interesting idea, Brad, but there's no way we have the time to manage two sites. It's hard enough to do one. Um, it's a lot of the stuff that you've brought up was a lot of similar to a lot of stuff between uh, the Monaco uh, sort of Oasis transition thing. It's very similar to that. I mean, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be. It, it it will take time, of course, but um, I'm not sure it will be as difficult as the those two as between as the previous transition. Mm. 
Yeah, we hope so. We hope actually what we'll, you know, as a lot of the features that Stanley outlined, we hope we'll just start working automatically uh, really well. And so our goal is to um, to start just adding stuff that just plain works. And um, and then everyone will just be, be happier to have new features like, uh, you know, wiki marks and search that's really good and uh, full frame images that automatically fit the screen when you rotate the phone, so on and so forth. So a lot of the stuff we're striving to do is going to be just all work automatically without any custom attention. But where there are cases where you're doing fancy stuff on the main page, uh, do you think, and we'd love an answer from each of you if at all possible, because this is a, something that uh, really would help us out in figuring out how to make it work for, for everyone. Um, do, would you want to maintain, to do the work to maintain two different sites or two different pieces of content or two different main pages for mobile and desktop? Would, if there's any way you guys can each individually answer that, we would love. At a minimum, yes or no, and a little any more info you can give us. It looks like Ryan suggested that it may, we'd make a main page mobile as an alternative to the regular main page. Mm -hmm. So if they're on the phone, they'll just see this main page, which is a, which is a good idea. It should be considered. Yeah, it's very simple. Um, there's also the idea of giving maybe a, a mobile, no mobile tag, where you could customize in the same um, in the same code, like which features would show up on the mobile screen features will show up on the desktop. Uh, any other ideas? Would so you more like to they already do that for Redwall. Oh you, oh, you already do that. Let me check out Redwall. How are you doing it? <laughs> um, I, I think it's a good idea to uh, have like a, a blanket media wiki uh, thing <laughs> uh, that it makes it less hassle for the users. Just so I understand that, are you saying it's good if we establish standard designs that are consistent across wikis? Are you saying you want a media wiki uh, mechanism that automatically makes a good mobile site or something else? Uh, I'm agreeing with the idea that was just put forward, the media wiki mobile, main page mobile uh, okay. thing. Uh, I, I just thought that was a good idea. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Um, so, table of contents, right? Sometimes, you know, that's helpful if you land on a page and like, oh, I really only care about when I was reading Angus Khan on the other day and I just had seen a show about his death. So, I wanted to read just about his death. How are, how are um, I might have missed this, but table of contents, how you imagine seeing that since a lot of our, like, character pages and stuff are really mm -hmm. whole lives or like that. It's, it's a good question. Um, what, so our content, it's collapsible. So maybe the first section of an article is open, but everything else, um, it has the header and okay. it has the drop down chevron. So you tap on the chevron to see the rest of the content. But when it's all compressed, it basically serves as a table of contents. Okay, so that regular table of contents is shown and then there's a compression. Yeah, the, exactly. And that's not true. Okay. So that's not changing. Anymore. That's that's not, that's not changing. But, but we're not uh, we're removing the show and hide button buttons, and we're having simple show buttons instead. Okay. Um, other ideas, questions. Do you guys have a, a wish list or a, a dream vision for for Wiki on mobile? What we could do to make your wikis look amazing to mobile users, or to make your lives better? Come on, get on the soapbox. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have microphones. Uh, no, no. We need to wrap this up soon. Yeah. Um, we are so glad that you guys came today. Um, you all heard from me via email, so please feel free to just call me directly with any questions or concerns for the mobile team, especially if there's something that we didn't cover fully today or you really wanted to ask and didn't get it out. Uh, we have completely appreciated everything you've offered, and uh, we're looking forward to a lot more back and forth. So thank you, uh, Stan and Brad and Sarah and Trello for sitting in and um, and everybody for coming. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate everything you've done. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.